Oh, hello. Interested in EVs, are you? Well, you've come to the right place. See, I'm a car tester and I spend my days testing cars in serious car testing facilities. I do this so you don't have to. I'm here to help you avoid those electric car pitfalls if you're thinking of buying one and answer your EV questions. Welcome to Top Gear Tested. What is it? Well, the Model 3 is Tesla's smallest, cheapest car. An American saloon car with space for five people and a big touchscreen inside. Hardly sounds like a verified big deal, does it? But in fact, the Model 3 is one of the most important cars of the 21st century. This one costs about £47,000, slap bang in the middle of the Model 3 family. Top of the line is the Model 3 Performance, which costs £60,000, but will keep up with a Porsche Taycan in the smuggest drag race of all time. What does it look like? Kind of like an angry metal frog, really. I like that Tesla didn't just slap a big lazy fake grill here on the front or dummy exhausts on the back, but they sort of forgot to design what was left in the middle. Seems strange, doesn't it? One of the most futuristic cars that you can buy right now has ended up looking like a, well, a slammed Toyota Prius wearing a COVID mask. Is it practical? Well, this can be more than a rolling meme generator, you know. It's also a clever family car. This skateboard chassis gives a flat floor, so it's pretty easy to load people into the back. And there's loads of oddment storage, though the wireless charging pads for your phone point your device distractingly at your face. Bit of a dumb idea if you ask me. The boots are good size too, but this saloon tailgate makes things just a little bit tricky to load. It would have been better if it had been a proper hatchback, but that would have spoiled the size of the glass roof, apparently. What's the tech like inside? Well, that depends on whether or not you've been to touchscreen school, because everything in here is controlled through this massive display. And I do mean everything. I mean, your mirror adjustment, the headlights, the wipers, even the steering wheel adjustment is all done in the screen. So it's a good job that it's not only a crisp looking display, but the reactions are so fast as well. Though it does get unnervingly hot in the summer. Still, this display makes the interface in, say, a Volkswagen ID3 feel about as up to date as a Nintendo GameCube. Does it have a party trick? This is a sort of Tesla Universe Mario Kart that you control using the car's pedals and turning its steering wheel. It really helps those supercharger visits fly by, but it's not exactly good news for your tyres, is it? Then there's the outright silliness. You can tell your car to pretend you're on Mars, settle in for a quiet night in, and there's even a disgusting fart mode, which I won't be bothering with because I am a serious car tester. How fast is it? Here at Top Gear Tested, we don't wait around all day for perfect weather conditions or a change in the wind direction. This is what you could expect if you got in this car anywhere in the world and floored it. All I'm gonna do is give you some super accurate results using my GPS satellite verified box of tricks. Tesla claims that this middle of the family Model 3 long range should get me from naught to 60 in 4.2 seconds, which is still pretty fast. Now there's no ludicrous mode in this car. All I've got is chill or standard. Let's have a little bit of standard. I'm gonna put my left foot hard on the brake and here we go. Whoa! For a standard middle of the range car, this is still really fast. There was no wheel spin there at all, because of course we've got four wheel drive, dual motors, no fuss, even on a slightly damp surface, and that's well over 100 miles an hour already. Whoa, let's come hard on those brakes. Plenty of runway left, so it's obviously got there quite quickly. Let's see just how quickly. This Tesla Model 3 long range might not be the fastest Tesla you can buy, but it certainly didn't hang about. Going from 0 to 60 in 4.4 seconds dead, 
and sneaking under 10 seconds to 100 miles per hour, getting there in just 9.98 seconds. The Model 3 long range ran the quarter mile in 12.83 seconds at 110.1 miles per hour. How big's the battery and how far will that get me? The base Model 3 has a 55 kilowatt hour battery, but this long range version and the Model 3 performance up that to 74 kilowatt hours. Still not massive by EV standards, but that's because Tesla's battery tech is light years beyond everyone else's. They claim 360 miles of range for this car, but we found that 250 to 280 miles is about bang on the money. Where do I put the cable? Tap the touchscreen and the charging flap pops open on the side. At home, your charging lead is going to look something like this. Connect it up from your home wall box and you'll be ready to go in about seven and a half hours. But of course, if you've got one of these, you'll be wanting to meet other Tesla owners in a car park perhaps for a spot of late night supercharging and chill. If you can find one of Tesla's dedicated chargers, and let's face it, they're just about everywhere, then you can have a full juice in just 34 minutes. What's it like on a motorway? Well, here I am doing about 70 miles an hour, and apart from too much wind noise, it's perfectly acceptable. Very easy to drive here. But you're already thinking, aren't you? Why are you driving it yourself? Why don't you let autopilot take over? Now, this is where things get interesting. All UK spec Tesla Model 3s have autopilot, but that's really just a kind of catch-all umbrella term for adaptive cruise control, lane following, steering assistant, and a blind spot monitoring. Now that's all terribly useful, but it's nothing you wouldn't find in a BMW 3 Series or a Ford Focus. For the Tesla to execute lane changes and overtakes and guide you to your destination, you need the full self-driving package. Now that's a 6,800 quid option, and it's not one we'd bother with. The car's reactions are just too haphazard. You're always having to kind of grab it, second guess it. Now they say that the technology is improving all the time and that one day you'll definitely tick that box by default. But right now, I prefer taking over from the computer and using my computer up here. So what's it like if you're running late for your SpaceX rocket launch? Well, the good news if you're an astronaut is that you'll probably get to the launch pad on time, but you'll arrive with a headache because my goodness, it's noisy in here. There's so much wind rush and tire roar. It's not a particularly refined experience when you're going very quickly. But speaking of speed, this thing is seriously fast. Tesla says this long range Model 3 would actually run on to over 160 miles an hour. Now I'm not going to do that because I think I'll end up deaf, but it's incredible to think that a car that looks so meek and unshowy would end up going faster in a straight line than a BMW M3. How heavy is it? Well, you don't expect me to take Elon Musk's word for it, do you? Now, Tesla claims 1,847 kilos for this Model 3 long range, and I'm astounded to say that it's just been weighed at 1,847 kilos. Now, any family-sized electric car that comes in that far below two tons is seriously impressive. And what that proves is if you can get your motor and battery pack technology as efficient as physics allows, then you don't need a battery that weighs more than the factory it's built in. Is it comfy? Well, it's sort of okay, but now, oh, come on, you're not buying this because of how it rides, are you? You're buying it because of supercharging and the range and this bloody great touchscreen. It doesn't have anything like the expensive, damper feel of something like a Jaguar I-Pace. But it is American, and credit where credit's due, America spent all of the last century 
building enormous cars with suspension made out of old waterbeds and string cheese. So the fact that the Tesla just rides okay is a big credit to it. What's it like round a bend? Well, not brilliant really. The steering's just so video gamey. It doesn't feel like it's connected to anything. And though I can sense the centre of gravity is nice and low with the batteries in the floor, I can't tell anything else. What about cornering when you're running late? Start to lob one of these Teslas around a bit and you begin to understand why Tesla thinks of itself not as a traditional car company, but more of a tech company. If you buy the Model 3 Performance, then it can be coaxed into doing power slides and big drifts and wrecking your tyres. But when it comes to just making a sensible family car that's still a bit of a giggle in the corners, well, I think Tesla maybe has one or two things left to learn from the Brits and the Germans, the old guard, basically. What's the verdict? Well, this is the car of the future that we were all promised, weren't we? I mean, I know it can't quite fly, but I bet Tesla's probably working on that. It has sentience, though, and a sense of humour. Mm. A real fresh take on just about everything. Now, the Model 3 was actually Top Gear's saloon car of the year back in 2019. And in fact, it's a little bit old, this car now. It's been on sale in the US since mid-2017. But in that time, there's still nothing else on the electric car scene that's managed to catch the Tesla Model 3 up and then beat it on all fronts. Now, while I know I'm taking a big risk here and I'm going to cop major flack from some parts of the internet for saying so, the Tesla Model 3 is not perfect. Tesla's build quality has been a bit iffy in the past. Even this car has got some dodgy panel fit on it. And there are definitely a couple more electric cars I can think of that are a lot more fun to drive than this. But because of Tesla's pace of improvement and how they just dare to do things differently, there's no doubt that this Tesla Model 3 is one of the most interesting, compelling new cars on sale in the world right now.